so today guys I'm just going to do a short video for you of how Sakan works so I hope you enjoyed the video I recently had um, a video of us driving to Sakan so now I'm just going to do a video to tell you all the actual process of how you go ahead and do the recycle and stuff so I hope you enjoyed the video let's just jump right into it okay So as you guys can see, I'm still in the park soaking up some of this oh, lovely sun. We've been waiting for the sun so long and this feels so good. So today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about how Sakan works. It's, it's a very easy process. So the first thing I did was I went on the Sakan website. Um, when I went on Sakan's website, it told me that, well, there are two options. I could have done drop and go or I could like stand in line and wait to drop off my stuff. So I chose the drop and go option for a number of reasons. I have small children, um, I do not really want to stand in line, you know, you're busy during the day. So we decided to do the drop and go option. So what I did was I went online, I registered for my account. It took my telephone number, my name and my email address. Um, it also asked for, I think it, uh, there are payment options. So it, I would, it asked if I'm doing drop and go, how I would like to get paid. And I said I would prefer e-transfer and then I so once I've registered the account we packed up our stuff on the vehicle and we drove to Sakan as you saw in my last video and when, once we got there there was a separate entrance for drop and go so we went to the drop and go section and it was pretty simple we just went to the kiosk we put in the telephone number that I gave online and it brought out like it, was, it printed a slip for me it asked what number um how many bags that i brought in today so i put in the number of bags let's say three bags and it printed out the free slips for me and then you just put it on the bags and you put the bags through the area where well there's a special area to put the bags you just put the bags there um and that's it it gives you like a little receipt at the end and you keep the they say you keep the receipt for in case you have any inquiries and stuff but i did not have any inquiries so i just I, but i kept my receipts and it took them like maybe a week or over a week and then i got the e-transfer it came to my bank account so it's pretty simple it was that easy for us So thank you for staying tuned to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.